Hello everybody, Josh Hanning from Future Morphs with Clutch 25 from this year. Uh, it's a fun project because, uh, well, basically only normals and enemies with some Tassura came out. So don't click away because the father, as you might have seen in the beginning, is a really cool pink uh, Mimosa Hypo Snow Tassura Motley Striped. And the female is a Lava, well, Blood Red slash Diffused. She, she looks almost like half pie sided but yeah, let's say Lava Diffused. Head Ennery, and she is possible at Charcoal, we cannot prove that out, but also possible at Hypo. That unfortunately, unfortunately did not prove out, but it was a really small chance. So all these babies will have Hypo, a Melanistic, uh, Ennery, Tessira, uh, Motley or Striped, Lava and Diffused in the mix. So a really big project. It's from Mimosa male, but the female is totally not from a Mimosa line or whatsoever. So I labeled them on the morph list as Mimosa line, because to be honest, if I see the babies now, they are not the most amazingly pink Mimosas or not really, um, yeah, like a lot of frosting or so. Although the Tessiras are pretty busy, uh, like busy patterns. So they are cool. I'm also definitely keeping 1.1 for myself, uh, but the other ones, they will be available for sort of, normal prices so the mimosa part is not really an add-on sort of so uh, but they will be nice i hope and otherwise it's still a fun project with all the lava combos you can make of course so enough talking let's go look at the babies so uh, i would just by the way if you see this uh, vk is wild kleur so normal uh, and multi is just multi heads i wrote it down just like this because otherwise it's really a lot of text and like this, I know that I should not just give them away to a wholesaler by accident or so. Because it is just a normal slash mimosa line normal. But I will show you a little bit better. So it has some yellow, but it's overall, it yeah, to be honest, it's almost a little brownish or so. So not ugly, but also not like, I would not uh, like to call this mimosa. So uh, uh, there was male one, by the way. When I started popping these, I had like five male normals in a row. And I thought, ah crap but uh, it turned out well like exactly 8.8 .8 was in the clutch so that's male number two male number three oh with a nice yellow uh, thingy on his head that's also funny like on the back of his neck basically so maybe they will be more colorful than i expected but uh, that's for you to uh, find out if you buy these this is male number four and male number five. It takes a little longer if I have to take out box by box, but otherwise, yeah, with the light, it's sort of annoying. So, uh, uh, what's this? Is a female normal? Me, female number one. Oh, it's the only female, by the way. So yeah, when I had uh, these, I thought, uh oh, six point one. That's a bad start. But then some more females came, luckily. So we also have a female Tessera. With all the heads as well, of course. And yeah, as you can see, it's a really busy Tessera. And that's usually what Mimosa does. Um, Mimosa Tessera's like the line just makes them yeah, extra blurry or yeah, not really typical. This is female number two. With almost like tiger stripes here on the side. Reminds me if I see it like this, a little bit like a, a carpet python or so. But just a baby corn snake. Uh, then we go to some anneries, so or, or missing reds, or however you want to call them. Uh, so this is a female. That was female number one. Then we have female number two. But as you can see, there's no real frosting in the saddles or so. Some saddles are a bit connected, but... And uh, female number three. So the, it's definitely a cool project, uh, but yeah, when I made it, well, I could, I wanted to test out the female for uh, hypo as well. Um, so it's not a bad combination anyway. So there's a lot of morphs, but I hoped that the mimosa would pop out a bit more, especially because the male is so yeah, so bright pink. And uh, this is male Ennery Tessera. Just two more to go. This is male number two. They're not the biggest babies, by the way. That's you see it more often with lava. The, the the female, like the mother, is also a visual lava, and she's huge. But yeah, usually lava babies and apparently also head lavas are a bit smaller. Uh, this is the last one, a female, by the way. So uh, I hope. Well, I guess they will start eating well, but they did not eat yet, of course. 
So, uh, these are on the morph list now. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping 1.1 and uh, I have exactly 7.7 .7 available. So on the morph list, you can just, I made them the same price for each pair. So you can say, oh, I want a, a pair of normals or a pair of Enerita Syrahs. But to be honest, uh, I would always go for uh, a normal and an Enery, for instance, uh, because then you will have not just Eneries in the clutch. Uh, and I would also go for one normal patent one and want a Syrah uh, patent one, if there's one available at least, still at the end. Um, because then you also get 50% the Syrah and stuff. So if you would have two normals, then no, the Syrah would pop out, of course. So, well, ideally, you, for instance, could say, oh, I will, keep, I will take a female Enery to Syrah with a male normal. Then you will have the biggest range of colors and patterns you can breed. So, but yeah, that's just a suggestion. It's up to you.